Welcome back to Man Wanders. I'm Ambrosia Man, and I'm taking you with us to Helsinki. And we are actually going to be taking a short ferry to Sioux Manlina. We are spending just a few days in Helsinki, and I'm going to show you some of my highlights that I really enjoy. Um, we've been there a couple times now, and also some things to think about when you're there to catch the ferry to Sioux Manlina. So let's head over right now. I just arrived here in Helsinki, and I just got my key. Um, I'm looking around aimlessly right now for my Airbnb, but um, after I check in, I'm gonna meet up with the group and we're gonna go shopping and just check out the space, but it's beautiful here today and I'm gonna show you around. This is an Airbnb we stayed in for a couple of days and it actually wasn't the original one that we picked. Our host relocated us because the original one was under construction and it was so loud that they were nice enough to relocate us. Helsinki is a really safe city and I would say in general, based off my experience, I would stay in a hotel next time. So I just got here to my apartment. It's actually a lot roomier than I expected it to be and it's super cute, really clean in here. Um, it's on a nice, cute little quaint neighborhood and um, I'm happy this is gonna be my home for the next couple of days. Anyway, I'm gonna get myself settled, freshen up a little bit and then let's go explore Helsinki because that's what we came here for, right? Okay, if you're a coffee lover like me, you won't have a hard time finding a cafe with a variety of options, so definitely keep your eyes peeped for that. A must visit in Helsinki is the Library Odi, which is in the Central Library. It is an absolute work of art in itself. It was completed in 2018 to serve as a common living space. Helsinki has an awesome transportation system with a one ticket you can hop on and off at any time. But what I enjoy the most is a walkability where you are. You can have access to the markets, which serve anything from fresh food to local trade. This is the largest city in Finland with a population in just over half a million. You'll find the city lined with rectangular bricks of granite known as Belgian blocks. The Senate Square has been Helsinki's main square since the 17th century, and the port in Helsinki is one of the busiest passenger ports in Europe and the main port of foreign trade in Finland. Some other touristy options might be the Sky Wheel, visiting one of the dozen churches, or checking out local art. Uh, and did I mention coffee? There's also the Havis Amanda Fountain, and if you prefer to go by train, the central station is located right in the city center. Okay, so we got tickets for a day trip to Sioux Molina, an 18th century sea fortress. It's only a 15 minute ferry ride from Helsinki. It consists of six islands built on the Swedish crown as protection against Russian expansionism. And it's one of the biggest sea fortresses in the world. update um, we just made it to we don't know how to say the name of it but I'm just gonna go for it sumo Menlina yep sumo Menlina nowadays yeah, several buildings have been converted into studios you can even find cafes and restaurants and even a brewery that's open in the summertime and it was also added to the UNESCO World Heritage list as a unique monument of military architecture Okay, so there you have it, a very short condensed trip to Helsinki, and you could literally do this whole thing in one day if you only had a day to do something before you headed out somewhere else. I would definitely highly recommend Sue Melina. This, as I was mentioning before, this is my second time in Helsinki, and I'm so glad that we made it over there because I honestly didn't know about it the first time I was there. So, I hope you enjoyed this. Make sure you like and subscribe, and we will see you next week. A little update, we decided to take a spontaneous trip. We're gonna be taking that cruise ship tomorrow. Um, we're heading to Stockholm and we'll have like six hours um, in the city to explore. We're gonna stay in a cabin there and then we don't know what's next after that, but that's the update.